<clears throat> Welcome everyone to this week's video. Today we are on Fish Friday number 69 and we have a good one for you today. Today's fish is a fish that some have called the swimming golf ball and quite frankly I think people are wrong. I think it's a swimming ping pong ball. Today we are going to be talking about the BAM. The Pacific Spiny Lump Sucker. So the Pacific Spiny Lump Sucker, or scientific, scientific name, Eumicrotremus orbis. Again, that's Eumicrotremus orbis. It is part of the family Cycloptaridae, which is the family of lump suckers and lump fish. Now the Pacific Spiny Lump Sucker is found in the Northern Pacific, which is um, think north, uh, northern, northern Washington State, going up into the Aleutian Islands in Alaska, and then across the Bering Sea along the coast of Russia, down to northern Japan. So it really stays in that real Arctic region, very cold waters. Um, in terms of where you can find these, these are actually a relatively common fish, um, and they accompany a wide range of habitats eelgrass beds rocky reefs kelp patches they kind of go with ever they really seem to like the eelgrass beds a lot of stuff i found seems to say they they found more of them in those eelgrass beds but in terms of depths they have been found in an extremely wide range of habitats uh, or a wide range of depths they've been found shallow they've been found deep they've been found in like two feet of water and they've been found at depths up to 480 to 500 feet which that's about 146 to 150 meters um now as you can see in the picture and from what i said before this is basically a golf ball that swims um or a ping pong ball a but if it's a golf ball it's got it's backwards and we'll get into why it's kind of has those backward dimples right there but in terms of size it's usually not that big if you can kind of get, get that from this picture most of the time your size range is going to be between one and three inches which is about two and a half to seven and a half centimeters but they're more typically found at about that one inch mark so two and a half centimeters however that's not to say they can't get bigger um, there's some research that have said that there's a max length of five to seven inches or 13 to 18 centimeters so apparently they can get significantly larger um, now they have this very wide mouth with very fleshy lips that is what helps them grab um, small moving worms little crustaceans on the rocks that they are found on or on the algae that they're found lets them really grab and uh, mold their lips to the rock um, also if you can't tell they have these really protruding eyes they're very bug eye they really stick out there that really helps them look around uh, for predators to keep an eye on things um, they have a very squared dorsal fin if you can't tell right here with a rounded caudal fin which the caudal fin is the tail fin and the caudal fin is really what you're using for power um i mean it's they're not great swimmers um but one of the thing cool things about them and their fins and one of the reason why this fish is so interesting and all as long with other lump suckers is that they're pelvic fins their pelvic fins have actually evolved and become modified to perform this fringed suction cup on the bottom. You can see those little hairs right on the edge. So that is actually the modified fin. So the pelvic fins actually fuse together to make this suction cup. And you can see it here. And you can see it here a little bit. That's one way to put it. They're kind of like remorse, but you can see that it's basically always attached to something. Um, and something that we've discussed with a lot of other things that live on the bottoms or attached things, these don't actually have a swim bladder or that air bladder that allows them to maintain neutral buoyancy. <coughs> and with their ball shape, with their, the suction cup for a fin, with their 
smaller other fins, you can just imagine these things are terrible. Terrible at swimming. They are they're awful. They're they're by far one of the worst swimmers you, you'll ever see. Um, they rely on their coloration, which if you can't tell from the pictures that I've been showing, there's a lot of coloration. Here you got a green one. Um, there's a lot of coloration difference. They're using that coloration as camouflage. So usually you're going to find them, their coloration in whatever habitat they're in. Um, and usually females are more of a dullish green and males are usually a dullish orange to reddish. So you would assume that this would be a male, whereas this green one would be a, a female. Yes, I have seen a batfish swim. These definitely beat a batfish in terms of being bad at swimming. Um, yeah, so as I said all earlier, with their fleshy lips, they're feeding on slow crustaceans, polychaete worms, mollusks, um, usually on the sandy or muddy seafloor. Um, in terms of their reproduction, the species is actually known to spawn in shallow, warmer waters, um, usually between July and October. The females will t lay large spherical eggs that are usually orange colored actually. They lay them in sheltered holes on the rocks. Um, females will lay about 200 and then the male will fertilize them. And then the female will leave and the male will actually attach himself right next to those eggs. And he will actually try and defend them from predators and will fan his fins over the eggs to make sure the air, the water continually circulates. Because remember, if water does not circulate over eggs, so if the late eggs are not laid in moving water, there has to be some way for those eggs to get constant fresh water. And that's how a lot of fish do it, is one of the, either the male or the female, will fan water over the eggs. And we've talked about something like this before. Um, they are fa usually found alone in nature. Um, so you usually don't find these in group. These are not a schooling fish. Um, but usually people see these because they accidentally disturb them. Because they'll surprise them. Because they don't... It's actually kind of difficult to find these if they're really camouflaged. Um, when they are disturbed, they swim, up, swim about aimlessly. Um, basically, they go crazy and just like try and swim away but because they can't swim well if there's any sort of wave or current they just kind of roll and just go all around um it's awful basically if they're disturbed and something wants to eat them they're they're gonna get eaten if they release their suction cup if they're spotted they're eaten and there's plenty of things that do like to eat these things they are fairly small they're fairly easy to eat um, think about it, it's basically popcorn chicken for a lot of things. These things are not big. Now, as you can imagine, a fish of this size, it is considered very harmless to humans. Um, but they are actually a favorite of scuba divers. Um, scuba divers love these because apparently they get so comfortable with people that they're known to eat eat out of the hands of scuba divers. So why they get so comfortable around humans is very odd, but they are a favorite of scuba divers. And with all these different colorations, you know, green, things like that, and you know, when you look up a, um, when you look up a specific spiny lump sucker, you can just see the variation colors of that are available. You know, like this one. Then you have the orange one this kind of plainer one like they got to be relatively beautiful fish to see look at the eye on this one uh something i have also meant to note it does seem like the eyes do have this celestial starburst pattern in there you know with these white stripes going by um i imagine that's also helping them with camouflage but i'm not entirely sure on that but now for the interesting fact that we're going to end the video on i'm sure you've been noticing these bumps and i even talked about how it's more of a backwards golf ball dimple than a regular golf ball dimple 
but you see all these lumps and I kind of you know right here I imagine you were thinking why didn't I talk about those well the reason why is because those are that's actually the interesting fact about this fish this fish has no scales and you know we've talked about plenty of fish that don't have any scales but these have no scales instead they're covered with these cone shaped tubercles and those tubercles are actually made of cartilage so think of like you should know cartilage by now um that cartilage is actually what helps them with buoyancy so when they do need to swim they rely on the fact that they have this cartilage outer shell that will um help them swim because otherwise they would just sink um and just something else about these usually females have more tubercles than males that surprised me um in terms of the cyprinidae the nuptial tubercles males are the ones that get them but i digress but the interesting thing about that is some of the research that has been done and there was this person in um i can't remember what university but for his thesis he dissolved um a killed pacific spiny lump sucker to get a good look at this cartilage outer shell of this and here it is and then he dyed those so you can really see the cones so he's basically dissolved all the flesh on this and you can see how these cones are arrayed around this fish and here's an here's another good picture of it um, kind of taken over like a red UV light you can see just how spiky those are that you didn't really you know you can't really tell those they're actually fairly spiky um, I don't know if that's like them trying to be a porcupine trying to keep them from them you know keep other things from eating them it doesn't seem to stop but you can definitely see that cartilage died and those are really hard cartilage sparks but that to me is the most interesting thing about this fish was this study done where they dissolved the fish and then dyed the skeleton to get these uh, cartilage to show under UV light but thank you guys so much again I really appreciate it um, please leave a like comment and subscribe if you do I'd really appreciate it hopes again hopefully you're enjoying the hurt Mondays I know I am take care of yourselves take care of your loved ones